Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to make a currency system. So let's get started. So to get the player, we're going to say game.player is that player added, connect function player. And what this is basically doing is it's saying when players join our game, then give us the player object. And this player variable is going to be the object of the player that joined. So basically what this is saying, once again, this is the player service. And when a player joins, it's going to be stored under this player. So this player is going to be this thing right here. And what we need to do is we need to insert a model inside of this thing. So to do that, we have to use instance.new. So we're going to say local leader stats equals instance.new model. And then we're going to parent it to the player. So we're adding a model inside of the player. And this line of code is basically going here. See, it already did it for me. <laughs> so basically what this line of code does is it literally right clicks, insert objects and select model. That's all we're doing. We're just inserting a model. And now we have the model and it's going to be called leader stats. So we want to name it leader stats. So we're going to say leader stats that name equals leader stats. And now what this line of code is doing is it's basically taking the model that we inserted and it's giving it the name leader stats. Now the next thing you got to do is you have to have the uh, currency value. So we're going to say local currency equals instance that new number value. And why are we using a number value? Because gold is a number. It's the number of gold that you have. And we need to put this inside of the leader stats. So we're inserting a number value inside of the leader stats. And we also need to call this thing gold or whatever, whatever you're calling it. So it could be gold, diamond, silver, or whatever you want. And as you can see, now we have gold. And just like what I had shown before, it's just taking a model, inserting it into the player, calling it leader stats and inserting a gold number value inside of the model. And now it's set to zero. So that means that I have zero gold in my game right now. And so now what we can do is let's say you wanted to add another value. Let's say gold was like the cheap currency and you wanted some like diamond or emerald or something like that. Let's say you wanted some premium currency, which players can purchase using Robux. So what you want to do is you want to copy the same exact line 
currency and we're, we're just going to call this diamonds. And then I'm just going to paste it here. And all we're doing here is we're just adding two number values. One for the gold and one for the diamonds. And we can change this to gold. So now players will have a gold element of currency and diamonds element of currency. All we're doing is putting two number values inside of the leader stats. And as you can see, our leaderboard updates. All we're doing is putting two number values, one for gold and one for diamond. So how do you make it so that the player can get gold? How do you make it so the player can get diamond? Well, for this, I'm going to show you a basic, a really basic way. We're going to use a touched event and we're going to call this, we're going to make this gold. And if a player walks into this, then they're going to get some gold. And that's basically what we're going to code. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this is anchored. We're going to make sure as can collide equal to false. And if a player touches this, we want to give them like 50 gold. So to do that, all we have to do is we have to say workspace dot, let's call this, we're going to call this gold giver workspace dot gold giver dot touched next function hit. So now whenever something touches the gold giver, it's going to execute whatever is in this line of code. So now we can say, for example, hit get full name. So now what we're going to do, so now what this is going to do is it's basically whenever something touches the gold giver, it's just going to print whatever that thing is. So for example, let's try it with our character. So I'm going to touch it and it should print. There you go. These are all the things that touched it. And now if we look into our character right here, we can see, for example, the right upper arm, which is this thing, which is this thing right here. It's saying that this part of my body touched this golden block here. So now what we have to do is we have to get the player from that. So if this is the thing that touched it, the character is the parent. So this is the thing that touched it. The parent has to be this. So with that, what we can say is we can say local character equals hit that parent. But first, we have to um, we have to make sure that this parent we have to make sure this character will actually exist, and we have to make sure that this character is actually a model. So we have to and we have to make sure it's a player. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if character and game dot players find first child character then so what this is saying is it's saying if the character exists and the character is a player so it's saying if this thing right here if if this character we should say character that name so a character is basically a model in workspace with the player's name on it and if we say game dot players find first child find first child character dot name all we're saying is if the if there is something inside of game dot players that has the name of the player in it this means if it's an actual player and all we have to do now is we have to update this gold value so we can say so we can say game dot players find first child character dot name dot leader stats dot gold dot value you can say plus equals 20. so what this is saying is it's saying this is the player so remember this is the actual player object so that player object is this thing right here so when we touch it it's going to find the player object which is that which is this thing right here this thing is the player object and then it's going to look for leader stats which is this this thing right here it's going to look for gold which is this thing right here it's going to take the value which is this thing right here it's going to add 20 to it that's what this plus equals does it's basically saying take the gold and put 20 into it so when you use plus equals it will add 20 gold into this gold value and this works and all except this will basically give me unlimited gold this will give me gold as long as I'm touching it. So it's just going to keep on going up by 20 and I'll show you what that does. So if we go into here, watch my gold. See, as long as we're touching it, my gold will increase. But we don't want that to happen. We want it to only increase if you touch it once. So what we have to do is we need to store the players that touched it into an array. So local players that already touched it equals array. So this is an array, all it, it's a table, I guess, an array or a table, whatever you want to call it. This is going to store the, this is going to store the players that have already touched this gold giver. So we can say, as we can say, after we give them 20 gold, we can say players that already touched it. And I think we'll make a new variable for player. Global player equals this, this thing right here. That's the player. Remember the game.players, the, the player that's inside of game.players. And then we can get rid of this and replace it with that. So we can say players that touched it, player equals true. So now I'm going to break this down for you. So this is a table that contains 
right now it contains nothing but after if a so if a player touches this gold giver then put the player inside of this so for example if i touched it it will put me right here so it's gonna look like that let's say if another player touched it player two equals true so that's all this is doing right here so it's just storing a list of players that have already touched it and we have to make sure that the player has not already touched it so to do that we can say and not player that has already touched it player oops player so this is basically saying if the character exists if the character has a player and if the player has not already touched it so remember the first time the first time i touch this it's going to have my name on it it's going to say equal to true so if i've already touched it and i've already claimed my 20 gold and then i try to touch it again my name is already going to be in this list so this will not run because my name doesn't satisfy this not condition right here so that is how you can make it so that your players can only redeem it one time so now we're going to try it again and if i if i try to go into the uh, block if i try to do that more than once it's not going to let me there you go i've already touched it my name is as soon as i touch this my name becomes on this list and I can't really redeem any more gold. So that is the end of this tutorial. If you want to do it with the diamonds, I challenge you to try it by yourself. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and comment down whatever you want to see in the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.